When placed in contact with certain ions, such as calcium ions, alginate gels instantly. One application of this property is jelly formed into spheres, similar to salmon roe. So, what exactly happens when gelation occurs? Alginate is a combination of two uronic acids, manuronic acid and guluronic acid. Each unit of a uronic acid includes a negatively charged carboxyl group of high ion exchange capacity. These units form chains, which create the polymer structure of alginate. The molecules of alginate in this aqueous solution push away from each other by electrostatic repulsion, forming a smooth, viscous liquid. When calcium ions are added, the negatively charged alginate molecules attract the positively charged calcium ions, forming a salt. When a further positive charge creates a salt with another alginate molecule, the two alginate molecules become linked by a calcium ion. This phenomenon is known as an egg box junction, after its visual similarity to an egg in an egg carton. This reaction occurs instantly throughout the solution. So, Alginate gels instantly in contact with calcium ions. When an aqueous solution of sodium alginate is added dropwise to an aqueous solution of calcium salt, it gels instantly wherever it comes into contact with calcium ions. The aqueous solution of sodium alginate forms beads as it gels due to surface tension, creating a jelly. By controlling the ionization of calcium, it is possible to gel the entire solution into any desired shape. This process is called the ion control method. Let's take a look at how this ion control method works. In this method, the calcium ions are first sequestered so that the alginate cannot react with them. The sequestered calcium does not react with the aqueous alginate solution so it mixes uniformly in the solution. As the pH of the solution is gradually reduced, the sequestered calcium becomes released, reacting with the alginate. The solution gels uniformly. Here, we see a calcium sequestering agent and a pH reduction agent. By varying the type and quantity of these two types of agents, the time required for gelation can be freely adjusted from as little as a few minutes to an overnight process. Making use of this property, alginate is used as a gelling agent in a wide range of applications.